Deputy ANC President, that is David Mabuza, is currently attending a wreath lane ceremony for struggle icon Peter Mogaba. The Youth League President died back in 2002, and the ceremony in Limbopo comes ahead of the January 8th celebrations tomorrow. Now, our senior reporter, Sipa Mandlakoke, joins us now from Mangwing uh, to give us, of course, some uh, updates on what's been happening since we've seen uh, the Deputy President making his way into the home of the late Peter Mogaba. Sipa Mandlakoke, uh, what's the very latest, especially after the D, uh, deputy uh, president uh, was seen, of course, entering the home of Peter Mugabe. Well, indeed, we are walking right now. We are inside the Mangweng Cemetery. That's where the deputy president of the ANC, D.D. Mabuza, will be leading this part of the program in terms of red laying. I can tell you that he's behind me somewhere. His motorcade is making its way inside the Mangweng Cemetery. I'm not sure whether Joe Kobane will be able to show you those visuals of uh, the deputy president of the ANC and some ANC Youth League members and ANC former ANC Youth League former leaders and current leaders part of this. So currently we are about to commence with that program of wreath laying ceremony here at the Mangueng Cemetery. This is where the Lion of the North is resting. This is his final resting place and he is regarded as one of the greatest presidents the Youth League. He built the ANC Youth League and made it to be what it was in the past, but not anymore. It's been weakened and those who are tasked with reviving the ANC Youth League say they are doing all they can to revive the ANC Youth League. So this is where the Mokabas are lying and I can tell you pretty much that it's uh, uh, where most of the family members are also buried. But let me try and take a walk. I've spotted Zizi Godwa here, one of the former leaders of the ANC Youth League and he's the former of the Youth League and uh, currently uh, Deputy Minister of State Security, Zizi Ward, a former spokesperson and former leader of the Youth League. Let's talk about Peter Mukaba. How would you remember him, his legacy, but also in ensuring that the Youth League legacy or Peter Mukaba's legacy doesn't die? What needs to be done to revive the dead ANC Youth League? Well, as you know, Peter Mukaba was a descendant of a dangerous generation, a dangerous generation that inspired young people in South Africa. We used to come here when we were still young to come and whenever we come here it was a place of ritual to regain strength to gain energy and we hope that uh, by us coming here you can see the number of people that are here it will inspire young people of today that is the ANC Youth League that we are rebuilding. It will be the ANC Youth League that will become the ANC Youth League of Peter Mukaba. Of course, in, in 2022, it won't be the same ANC Youth League. So we're quite inspirational. I was inspired that we are here today and uh, to come to him to report about the work that we are doing, but also to gain strength and inspiration from Peter Mukaba. I'm going to ask my colleague, Joe Komane, to stay with the visuals of the Deputy President of the ANC, the David Mabuza, arriving. I'm going to ask you to stay with us as we await the arrival of uh, David Mabuza here. But Zizi, let's talk about, you and I will continue this conversation. Joe will stick to those, visual, uh, to those visuals. Let's talk about now what needs to be done to ensure that young people are part of the generational mix of leadership of the ANC. There are calls for the ANC national leadership to encompass young people in its top officials as David Mabuza is December King. There mustn't be, young people must be unapologetic about the need to replenish uh, and the issues about the generational mix in the ANC because that's what has sustained the ANC for 110 years. It's been the role of young people who have re-energized the ANC and their role, they must be unapologetic about it in 2022. Okay, thank you very much for time. That is Zizi Godwa, one of the former leaders of the ANC Youth League. And I can tell you that there are other leaders of the ANC Youth League who are here from various provinces across the country. As today is solely dedicated on Peter Mukaba, the Lion of the North. He is known as a very, very bold leader, courageous leader, someone who was not shy to raise his views and opinions. Even he was the fire.
to the ANC Youth League, there is no way you cannot mention Peter Mokaba, the Lion of the North, who had very strong personal and political ties to another great South African struggle heroine, Mama Winnie Mandela. So here you song and dance struggle songs because the song that is being sung against the ethnic members to Lamtana we are fighting for this land. The land question still remains. It's something that Peter Mukaba was very vocal about. It's something that the AMC led government has not been able to solve till this day. Youth unemployment, inequality, poverty, issues of education, access, the economy, all those remain challenges that young people are facing. Gender-based violence, femicide, those are the challenges facing the current generation and that's when members, uh, that's where members of the ANC Youth League are called upon to play the those of the Lion of the North, Peter Mokab. struggling with hearing you. I'm not sure whether you are able to hear us, but to take a walk where and the ANC Deputy President David Mabuza, for now, we can hear you, and, but we hope on your side you will be able to hear us. I am not to the current method. All right, we seem to be breaking you a bit there, uh, Supermantla Goke, but definitely heard, of course, uh, your conversation with Zizi God, as well as those uh, uh, singing and chanting just close to the uh, tombstone of uh, P. Tamukaba, marking it 20 years uh, this year since his passing, his birthday being today. Those visuals, of course, of David Mabuza also making his way into uh, that uh, tent just alongside the tombstone as they uh, commence with their wreath-laying uh, ceremony. Of course, if there are more developments, colleague will be sure to come back to you out there in Mangwe.